Well, hello there, I'm the Old Growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can, a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine or a spirit will drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We read the label, all of the label. We check out the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. And we crack it open and see if it meets expectations. There's a couple things we do here. First off, let me tell you, we always use the same style of glassware. That way, no beer has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. Also, most people will do a tasting, they'll take a look, they'll sniff, they'll sip, and then they'll let you know what they think. Well, I sip first. Why? Wine expert Fred Dex explained it all to me, and he can explain it all to you a lot better than I can. And finally, the temperatures of the beers. They should be lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit, and ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The good folks at Thermoworks sent me their lollipop thermometer so that I can test all of the beers to see what temperature they are. And if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description box below. All right, what do we have here? Okay, this is from Earth Eagle Brewings. Uh, they're Plumber, Plum, P-L-U-M-B-E-R, Jack, Plumber, Jack. It is a German style Gers with plums, handcrafted in small batches. 16 fluid ounces, 4.7% alcohol by volume. Tis the season for the wondrousness of plum and a touch of sea salt. Tart, crisp, and dry, each sip of the German-style Gers will inspire the next. Okay. Uh, it also says, drink the bird, love the bird, give the bird, be the bird. And I'm sure they're talking about the eagle. All right. Uh, brewed and canned by Earth Eagle Brewings, 175 High Street, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Warning, the Surgeon General says, I should not operate heavy machinery or be a pregnant woman. I'm neither one of those. It also has the Brewers Association Certification Independent Craft Brewer seal on here. All right, well, uh, they're pretty, uh, they don't give me any of the IBUs, but they do tell you that it's 4.7% alcohol and easy growing, uh, easy drinking beer. German style goods. We got maybe a little cloudy on this one. And with plums, now that's going to be the flavor. Uh, pro, the, the flavor profile, so I don't know if you can look at it and see plums, but uh, we'll see. A good, so we got kind of a hazy beer, uh, a, a little bit, as they mentioned, salty. Uh, that's kind of a, uh, a benchmark of the goods. So salty plums, that's what I'm looking forward to. Let's crack this open and see if it can meet those expectations. Now, there is no date on the bottom of the uh, can here. I do not think so. No, there is not. The reason is we, I was just up there three or four days ago and picked up uh, a few of these uh, from Earth Eagle up there in Portsmouth. Great little brewery if you ever do stop by. Okay, here we go. Well, you know, it's got a little bit of pink there. Yes, sirree. They are making their point. Effervescent, very effervescent. It's got a nice head on it. Yeah, those those are carbonation. That that's still those bubbles are still coming up. So let's crack it open. It's a a good. So let's see what temperature it is. Uh, 53, 54 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is just about the middle of the road. Well, just about the top of the road for. Ales. Okay, it does look like a goose. Uh, let's see if it tastes like a goose. You notice I took two sips. It wasn't because I was greedy, it's because I had to wait the taste buds up. They've just done an American lager, so they weren't, uh, they were kind of sitting around relaxing, and all of a sudden they get hit with this. All right, now they're awake. Let's see what their olfactory friends have discovered. Now, if you could smell salt, 
Uh, this would be what you would experience. There's also... Uh, almost a touch of tangerine, but that's a little weird. Uh, that's a, a uh, the, the let's see if the taste buds find it. Oh, they nailed it with the very light plum. It is it's a fresh plum, not a concentrate plum, and um, that touch of sea, that salinity, that touch of salt on that sweet plum. Ah. Boy, am I glad I got two cans of this. <laughs> All right, well, does Earth Eagle Brewing's German style goes with plums and crafted in small batches meet expectations? It certainly does. If you, if you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe, subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. A comment would really be appreciated. I'm the Old Growler. Hoping all of your beers meet expectations.